All right, welcome back. So here's my WeTech MSK. Uh, I ran it last week. I did accessorize everything, put everything where it needed to be. Uh, last week I was running a red dot that I had on my BCM, which I display somewhere. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and accessorize this. I, well, in my case, accessorize it again. Now, don't worry about the little scratches that I have here. Uh, there is a reason for that. So, first things first, we already have Picatinny on the bottom of the handguard and a Picatinny on the side here. And those are already Loctited in. I use blue Loctite, of course, so we can take it off later. But, let's get started. First, sling attachment. This is an M-Lock, so it's a wider version of it. It's an MOE style handguard, so standard M-Lock will not fit. And I prefer to have my sling right here and right here, right in, right in between the receiver. So, looking up uh, ways to attach something on there, I went ahead and ordered these um, PTS Magpul pair clips. Quick attach, well, they're not quick attach, but these basically lock in to the uh, QD attachment right here. You take that and screw it in and that tightens up and locks into the QD mount but since this is an QD attachment I ordered two of them this one I put on my uh, my MCX I'm getting confused with all these MC MS and all other uh, airsoft rifle models so what I did was I took this screw out Took that all the way out then i grinded this part off on my grinder on my stone grinder so now it is nice and flat so there's no lip on there it's not perfectly flat I'll get in the light here but it sits perfectly right here and i took one of the rail screws took it there and attach it here so let's go ahead and do that again so take some blue Loctite, drop on there, spread it out a bit. Drop it here. Now that screw isn't perfectly flat, but it helped. Not super tight. That's how long there. So I'll have my sling points right here on both sides. All right, next we're going to go with the handguard, uh, the foregrip. Now I received, I did order an accessories box from Airsoft VI. Uh, he did give me a barrel, but it was a, for the GBBR, and but it was a, for the short version of the MSK, so it didn't fit. You did get the bucking as well. Uh, I did remove the original bucking, which is not that one, but this one. Remove the original bucking because it was just super tight and it was it wasn't working right. So did swap out the bucking on here with the unicorn one. Uh, I tested it out on my my chrono and it seems to be working fine. But I'll be doing a full test next week. So next up, let's put the foregrip. This is a Magpul foregrip. So, let's go ahead, find the right Allen key. And that's the right one. Let's take this off. Alright, foregrip's on. That's where I like it. It's more of a hand stop than foregrip. That I use it more as a hand stop than anything. It's great. Next up, let's go ahead and put the uh, airsoft red dot on here. Yeah, I just got this from eBay. I would have gone with a shorter version. Uh, I think it's a 552, but I don't want to have to deal with random name batteries, so I just prefer to use the double A's, which is. More common and easy to find in stores. Of course, I buy a big box of them from Amazon. But 
we go. That's on there. Uh, I'm trying to see a point where I can put some. Here we go. I don't plan on taking this off. So let that roll. And then, yeah. And again, when you're screwing stuff down, don't over tighten. Don't, you know, screw it down with a with a drill or anything. So, yeah, you don't want to strip your threads. That's why this one I'm a little concerned of, but it's okay. I got a few more points to screw that in. All right, next up, got the run cam mount, but since I have the iron sights here, I don't want to mount it up here. So I'm going to mount this right here. And this is a uh, barrel mount that I found on Amazon. It's fairly cheap. Uh, of course, I'm not going to buy anything real sale for this. This is just airsoft. But let's go ahead. We'll mount this here on the barrel so it's out of the way of my sights. Put that on there. And for those wondering about my last video where I didn't get any, uh, didn't get any. Uh, run cam footage. It was because my settings were off and I couldn't sync everything up. So I got that resolved. So hopefully in the next game I'll be able to get you guys some zoomy zoomies. Alright, so this is going to be a pain in the butt to install. Mostly because I got to get the settings, get the level right. But we'll get to that in a second. There we go that's on there now it's level it I do have this picatinny mounted uh, leveling tool so what I'll do screw that but I'll go ahead and do this off camera because I gotta set it on my vice here and I really don't feel like uh, moving my camera around so I'll be back in a second a few hours later. Yeah, I'll be testing out the levelness of it once I'm back out. D14. But now that I have all this stuff up top, I don't want that to be in the way. So now, so I find my Phillips. Take this out. Use that. But yeah, I love this. My first gameplay with it was just so much fun. Uh, hopefully the new bucking will kind of level things out. If not, I could swap it out back to the original bucking. But don't need to Loctite this in there. That's not going anywhere. So there we go. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you notice here, I do have a piece of duct tape covering up the right side of the selector. It's because the safety got stuck and my boy Andrew tried to work with it uh, for now though I'm gonna take it back up to him again next week and have him uh, reattach that other the right side of the safety because uh, right now if I put it in like charge it keep it on safe it is firing and it it is firing at full auto so that is something not overly concerned about concerned about I do have really good pretty good uh, trigger discipline so anyway that's on there and when we're back I'm gonna z zero this red dot this airsoft red dot that's totally not a copy of anything and have some fun with it and I've after the first couple days man first couple games it was a lot of fun the flash hider I have here is from Novrich for their fast attach suppressors. And I think, I can't remember if there's a V1 or V2. I'll post a thing up here shortly. But anyway, fast attach suppressor. I like the look of it. So this is one that I have here that I have on my MCX. So I bought a couple of these for both of my big pew pews. So just attach it here. Attach it down. And there we go, suppressor. And it's foam filled, so it sort of kind of might work, but 
I don't like the look of it. If I had the short version, I would use it. It's stuck. Damn it. Yeah, that cranks out pretty tight on there. So anyway, there we go. All right. So there we go. That's my preferred look. Plus, the suppressor on this guy is kind of pointless since this is loud as hell. Anyway, now, peace out. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff.